what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today we're going to go ahead and talk about cod 2020 specifically the new call of duty that is coming out later this year but before we get into that please do me that favor like the video subscribe to the channel and follow me on twitter big ups to everybody out there who's new to the channel who've been coming out and watching the videos dropping comments i do appreciate that but without further ado we're going to go ahead and jump right into it you already know what time it is the new call of duty is just about around the corner it's about to be june so you already know the internet's about to be flooded with new details and leaks pertaining to the next call of duty this time around it is treyarch's turn at bat and i am looking forward to seeing what they will be bringing to the table it has been rumored that they are going back in time to the vietnam war which is about what the 1960s 1970s era back to their roots back to the latest and the greatest back in the early 2000s call of duty black ops one i'm talking about chopper gunners i'm talking about dogs i'm talking about napalm i'm looking forward to this and i hope all the rumors surrounding it is true the internet right now is calling it call of duty cold war i don't know if that's actually going to be the running title or not and i think that might be kind of whack to be honest but I feel like whatever is going to be, it is going to follow the trend of going back in time. If you think about Infinity War, Sledgehammer Games, Raven Software, all of them, they've actually already taken a step back. I think it's going to be really, really good. And uh, I'm looking forward to what they're going to bring to the table. Moving forward, I truly believe that they have an opportunity here to return to a very good point in the Call of Duty lifespan. I truly believe that if they do this right, it'll bring in a lot of old veteran players and a lot of new players as well. I'm talking coming right out the gate swinging. I'm talking good neck code, great weapon variety and balancing. Bring back that wonderful prestige system however you can go ahead and leave the weapon setup when it comes to your classes the exact same i do actually like being able to add a variety of different attachments to your weapon and everything and change it on the fly you can leave that alone we don't have to go back to the pick 10 system no 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 no, no. don't don't bring that back i do like how they do it with the perks and stuff that actually helps balance the game so go ahead and bring that back but also bring back the pro perk i love pro perks that you can unlock additional skill sets by actually doing specific things within the game i thought that that was great and i thought it was something to keep people going and keep people working towards things i really enjoyed that and i hope that they bring that back and finally of course we need to see devastating score streak please bring them back either score streaks kill streaks i don't care what you call it but we need to see them back i'm talking something crazy and worth earning I feel like that's one of the reasons why the more modern Call of Duties aren't as good. They don't have devastating score streaks and or kill streaks. If you go back in time, look at where we came from. We had the Moab, the Nuke, the AC-130, the Reaper, the Chopper Gunner, all of these big names out there that were worth it when you actually earned them. I know it's a big thing now to try to fill the lobbies up and keep people playing. But back in the day, when you heard enemy AC-130 or or even saw that countdown for a nuke or a moab coming your way you actually questioned whether or not you were staying and we need to get back to that leave all this foolery and all this hyper realism nonsense behind if people want to quit the game because they getting smacked so be it let them go that is how all of us cod veterans actually learn to get better at the game everybody has gotten into a game where they have gotten smacked and or have wanted to quit that's just the way it goes that's how you get better at the game Game. moving on back to cold duty cold war i hope that they bring back some of the more iconic weapons of the past i'm talking about the actual galil i'm talking about the actual commando you remember the seatbelt gun that's what everybody thought of it as the seatbelt gun or the stakeout shotgun or the spaz 12 i'm looking back towards those type of weapons the good classics and add a bunch of new ones as well you can bring the tommy in you can bring back the thompson this 
a wide variety of things that they can go to when it comes to this video game and i'm looking forward to it and i hope that they do this right but that about sums it up i hope that this is the direction we're heading into i feel like it's possible and it should be the case however you already know how this goes when it comes to these developers you won't know until you actually get the game but nevertheless what do you think what do you want to see did you play black ops 1 do you want to see a remaster of black ops 1 or would you prefer they build something new from the ground up let me know down below in the comment section thank you so much for coming out to watch my video please do like the video subscribe to the channel and follow me on twitter appreciate all the support and i will see you on the next one